Welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raber. This week's questions got us out and about, so I'm going to get right into those. And the first question was, is there opportunity to learn different dances? And of course there is. There are hundreds of opportunities. The first one we're going to show you is from a beginning line dancing social group. So hope you enjoy it. I'm here at Moyer Recreation Center and we're going to check out some line dancing beginner and this group is called Rhythm and Blues and I tell you he makes the steps so easy. He goes through each one of the steps before they get into the dance and they have um, seasoned dancers all on the, around the room so people will be able to watch them and catch on quicker. You step forward. Then you kind of just tap your foot. Then you step to the right. Step to the right. Bring your feet together. Cha 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 rock back. Cha 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 rock back. Cha 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 left. Left side left. Cha cha cha. 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 So let's do Step together forward, to left, two, three, cross over, and turn. Step, two, three, scoop, two, three. Step together forward. I may come back and join that class. That was awesome. We showed you the beginner's class earlier today. Now we're going to show you the rhythm and blues, more experienced dancers here at the square. Take a look at this. from the Rhythm and Blues, and Larry, how many times a week would you say you dance at the squares? At the squares, probably three or four times a, a week. Okay. But we have uh, two classes that we go to during the week. Okay. And how long have you been doing this? It's been about nine years now. Oh, wow. You must love it. It is. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> you look great out there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's two or three different groups tonight. There's the Rhythm and Blues over here and there's some other ones on this side. It's fun just to watch them dance. It's really, really cool. Of course, you don't have to be in a group to dance. That is such a nice group of people. And they don't only dance together, they socially get together and go to dinner and have you know each other over and things like that. Really a great group. And the next ones we're gonna talk about is the Aloha Okahula Troupe, the Hawaiian dancers. And Violet Ray is the leader and she actually studied dancing in Hawaii. So she is the real deal. And they practice a couple times a week. 
they do uh, dancing at the squares and um, also they go to uh, nursing homes. So enjoy. If you'd like to see more Hawaiian dancing, there's a link in the description for two full dances. So just click on it and enjoy. I could never learn all those steps that those girls do. The cameraman went and filmed this and he said that it was very interesting. The ladies were very, very nice and it's very relaxing. So. If you're in, interested in learning how to hula dance, they, there is a beginner's class on Mondays, Monday afternoons at Alamando. You may want to give it a whirl. This was just a couple of examples, and like I said, there's hundreds of examples, and you can view those in the Recreation News. And the second question is, is it possible to go to church in my golf cart? And the answer to that is yes. And there's lots of churches in the villages and also around the villages, such as I know there's a synagogue right on the outskirts of the villages, but we are showing you five different churches that I know that you can get to by golf cart. Now that doesn't mean you have to come by golf cart, but you can if you like. This is the Hope Lutheran Church, and it's on 466 and Morse Boulevard on the corner. It's a very nice looking building. I love the three bells on the top, and there's plenty of parking spaces, and it's very nicely kept. I love, I love the, how the other building is set off on the side. This one is kind of like buy one get one free. <laughs> There's another church right next door. And this is Fairway Christian Church and I'd say from the size of the building and the amount of parking spaces it's quite large. It has, uh, they both, both of these churches side by side have an entrance off of 466 and also Morse Boulevard. It's a similar color to the church next door, but it's definitely a totally different style. And I heard, overheard someone say that there's renovation going on here. So that'll be interesting to see. We're here at Live Oaks Community Church at the Woodridge campus. And look at this beautiful backdrop, wow. This is a beautiful church. It, I don't know how old it is, but it looks fairly new. And there is another campus that is called Southern Oaks Campus, and it's right off of 44 near Brownwood. We went there last Saturday night and really enjoyed it. Last Christmas, we came here for the first time to watch the Christmas story, and it was actually held back here where they call the Grove, and I'll show you where it was. As you can see, there's lots of construction going on, but we're gonna ignore that for now. All the golf carts were lined up in the front, and we were somewhere back here, I think, in our car. And uh, you can see the big screen up there, which is what was playing, and they had 
lights on all the palm trees and everything, and they were synchronized with the music. It was so cool. And you could hear the music, you could turn on your radio and hear the music, and you won't believe this. As we were leaving, we even had snow. They had snow machines. It was so cool. We are here at St. George Episcopal Church. We are right near Spanish Springs. And this church actually reminds me of a modern English church. And I guess that is probably because St. George is a patron saint of England and his cross, the red and white cross, is actually the flag of England is named the St. George Cross. This is the side of the building, and everything about it is beautiful. I understand they do an outdoor Eucharist, which is the commencement of the Last Supper. So I'm not sure exactly where that's done, but my guess maybe would be out here. Now we're gonna go across the street to St. Timothy's Catholic Church. This is St. Timothy's Catholic Church, and we're right here on Highway 441, and Spanish Springs is just right over there. Look, look at the size of this church and how beautiful it is. You know, I've actually had people tell me that they want to be in this area because they want to come to this church. If you want to go to church, there's no reason for you not to because you've got lots of choices. I know not everyone is interested in going to church, but even if you don't want to go in, the buildings are absolutely gorgeous and they're worth looking at. The third question is, what has sold recently for $500,000? And I have a couple examples. First is an iris in Hillsboro. And the second one is a lily in Bonita. And over the next couple weeks, we're going to be showing you some more solds and giving you the information about that so you can know what is selling and for how much here in the villages. So watch out for that. It's now time for our MLS stats from the week of July 25th to August 1st. Thank you very much. And we had, gosh, all the numbers are pretty close together. 42 solds, 41 pendings, 30 new listings, and 45 price reductions. Wow. Okay, here's how it stacks up. Last week we had 30, we had 10 less solds, and we had four more pendings. We had four more new listings and 10 less price reductions. So we've, we've seen uh, an uptick in people being out like at the open houses and things like that. So um, it's, I think people are starting to really get back in the market again. Um, we're still selling homes. They're just, some of them are just taking a lo little longer than they did before. So, we had 214 on, in actives last week, and this week we had 208. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I wanna remind you to please subscribe and hit the like button. We now have over 1,000 subscribers, and I think Amy, I think it was Amy, that was the 1,000th. So thank you, Amy. And just keep, keep the questions coming in. And as always, if I can answer any questions whatsoever about real estate, give me a call, text, or email me. I would love to help you. So until next time, bye. This is St. George, a pit, 
That's a mouthful. Okay, again. This is St. George Episcopal Church. And this is St. Timothy's Christian Church. <laughs> we're right here on 466. No, we're not. Okay, now it's time for our weekly stats, MLS stats from August 20... <laughs> Boy, I'm just flying through summer, aren't I? I gotta start over. Okay. All right, now it's time for our sta MLS stats from the week of July 25th through August 1st. Okay. All right. 